Resurrection Fighting Alliance 36 went down on Friday from the Mystic Lake Casino in Prior Lake, Minnesota, with all the action airing live here on Fight Network. Following a late-minute cancellation of the main event due to weight-cutting issues, one of the most underrated flyweights in the world, Chico Camus, looked to crawl his way back to the UFC as he took on Matt Brown. Camus outworked Brown, looking for angles and picking apart his opponent. In the final seconds of the first round, Camus got caught with a hard right hand, briefly dropping him. From there, Camus didn't want to give Brown an inch, taking him down and beating him up from inside of his guard. Camus had a late flurry in the third round, passing to Mount and looking for a finish. However, Brown survived and we went to the judges' scorecards. Earning a unanimous decision, Chico Camus takes his first step back to the UFC octagon. In the night's co-feature, Melvin Bloomer took on KO Kid Matt Murphy. Murphy opened up a nasty gash in the first round on Bloomer, but the career killer would look to rebound with a very tight rear naked choke. Oh, it's good to Irene! Melvin Bloomer brings the house down! With the victory, Melvin Bloomer improves to 13 and 3. Next up, we had Reese Hernandez taking on Cassius Holdorf. Hernandez looked to grind out his opponent throughout the first two rounds, nearly getting an armbar in the third. After three hard-fought rounds, Reese the Grease Hernandez got the unanimous decision victory. Minnesota's own Dan Moritz got the victory over Josh Wick. Moritz wrestling proved the difference, taking down his opponent repeatedly throughout the three rounds. Dan Moritz gets the unanimous decision victory. In the welterweight division, four-time All-American Logan Storley got the quick victory over Lamatra Griffin. With his opponent in a southpaw stance, the straight right was wide open for Storley, who rocked his opponent barely early into the bout and finished him off with ground and pound. Jab from Logan, but how long will it take him to nice. knock the legs? He's oh, he's going to knock him out of the feet. This one is going to be over in a hurry. Storley, that maniacal that poundage on the ground. Right hands raining into the side of the head of a hapless Lamatra Griffin. Storley spins around. He'll take the back of Griffin. Hammerfist strikes, just cracking away. Out flat now, Lamatra. It's only a matter of time. It's good night, Irene. Once again, the maniacal ground and pound of Logan Storley prevails. The first round TKO, Logan Storley improves to 3-0. And finally, opening the card, Bobby Lee remained undefeated, taking on Alex Wiggs. It was a hard-fought battle, but ultimately Lee's wrestling proved the difference, scoring takedowns and controlling his opponent on the mat en route to a majority decision victory, improving to 3-0.